Hey everybody, Dr. Baker here. First of all, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to the amazing medical doctors, the nurses, the hospital staffs all over the world that are saving lives. Because here's the thing, I, I appreciate you. I respect you and I appreciate you. If I get shot stabbed or have a heart attack, I want to be in our healthcare system so that they can save my life. And they are amazing at saving lives. They are amazing when it comes to crisis and emergency care. But that is not the same as healthcare. Crisis and emergency care is not the same as healthcare. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Right now, I, I'm going to talk a lot, largely about the United States because that's the country I live in. Right now, every 60 seconds, three people get diagnosed with cancer. Every 60 seconds, one person dies of cancer. Every 60 seconds, somebody's going to die of heart disease. In 2014, which was a while ago, 328,000 people died by properly prescribed medications between the United States and Europe. That's a lot. And it's probably worse now. There's little girls as young as 10 years old with breast cancer. The American Academy of Pediatrics is now suggesting to pediatricians that they put children as young as 8 years old on a statin drug. Every 25 minutes, every 25 minutes, there's a baby born in the United States who's addicted to opioids. And if their parents decide, if their parents have the ability or choose to rehab that child, it can cost over $60,000 to do that. We're in a crisis right now. It's not just the United States, it's across the world. It doesn't matter what country you're watching from. If your primary, hair, if your primary care physis, physicians are medical doctors and that medical model is your main approach, that reactive approach, that, that approach to covering up symptoms with medications instead of fixing the cause of the problem, then you're in the same boat. We're in trouble right now as a generation, as a race. We are as sick as we've ever been. And I haven't even mentioned the skyrocketing number of autism. I haven't even mentioned how many autoimmune, autoimmune diseases there are. I haven't even mentioned any of that. Okay? So understand that the only way for you to make it out, the only way for you to actually not be a part of those statistics is to get and stay extremely healthy. And so in order to do that, I believe that you need to become the expert. You are the doctor. And understand that the best doctor in the world lives inside of you. You have an amazing intelligence in your body that is helping you to function and heal every single day. And so understanding the principle of life and how the body works is really the only way to start applying a clear understanding to you and your family's health so that you can be the healthiest family ever. There's an intelligence that made you. There's no question that you, some, you went from two cells to trillions of cells. There's no question about that. That's science. There's no question that when you breathe, air goes into your body and your body knows how to take oxygen to every single part of the body to give it what it needs. There's no question that when you eat food, it, it somehow turns into waste and energy without you having to read a textbook, go to medical school, or understand anything like that. There is an amazing intelligence at work in your body right now, every single day, every single second. And so if I cut my finger, I want, you, I want to help you understand this. If I cut my finger, I don't need Neosporin and a Band-Aid to heal. That cut, I don't need more help to heal that, but I can't have any interference. So if I were to come along and, and I were to break open that cut, over and over and over again, would it ever heal the way it's supposed to? I would argue no, it would never heal like it's supposed to because I'm interfering with it. And so this is very, very simple. Four-year-olds get this when I explain it to them in my office. The intelligence that made the body is what runs the body and heals the body. But that intelligence cannot have any interference. If there's something keeping it from working the way it's supposed to, then you never get completely healthy or you get more sick. That's the way it is. And so understanding how to remove interference from the body and allow the body to heal itself is the key to helping your family get and stay healthy. And so, first of all, I don't think it's a debate that toxins make you sick, right? If you go home and you drink a bottle of whiskey every night, you're not going to get closer to health. You're going to get closer to sickness. If you're breathing in black smoke, environmental toxins, I don't think we need to debate the fact that if you're full of toxins, you're not healthy, you're getting sicker. Okay, so if you were to go home and take a little shot of gasoline, right, just a little one, drink a little bit of gasoline after every single day after work, would you get healthy or sick over time? I think we could agree that you'd get sicker over time. You'd say, well, why would I drink gasoline? That's like, well, how, is, how are medications any different? How is it that we could take a petroleum-based medication 
and, 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 and understanding that that's a toxin and expect that to make our body healthier. Haven't you recognized, haven't you realized that when you take medications, there's always side effects? Why do you think there's always side effects? Because it's creating other problems in the body. I'm not telling you to get off your medication. It's not my scope of practice, but it's my job as a physician to help you understand how to get your body healthy enough that you wouldn't have to take medication. It's my job as a physician to educate you and help you understand that you are the most powerful doctor. What you have inside of you is better than anything else out there. Health does not come from outside in. It doesn't come from a medical doctor. It sure as hell doesn't come from a pill. It comes from an understanding and an intelligence that's already inside of you. You are already amazing, okay? And so, Understand that what you eat matters. It does. And, and if, you, if you, this, here's an easy one. If it comes from a plant, it makes you healthier. If it's made in a plant, it makes you sicker. It's way, way easy to understand that if we eat good, clean food that's not covered in glyphosate and chemicals, we're going to get healthier instead of sicker, right? Because bad food creates interference to my body's ability to heal itself. Super simple. I don't think it's a debatable fact that if you exercise and you go out and you move on a regular basis, you'll be healthier than somebody that sits on the couch or in front of the computer all day, every day, and is sedentary. I don't think we need to, 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 to go find a, a new science research article for that. Pretty clear, right? So exercise removes interference. Good food removes interference. Not being full of chemicals removes interference, okay? And so here's the other thing is, it's, it's, a, it's a scientific fact that your brain and, and nervous system, your brain and spinal cord called your central nervous system, is the command center for your entire body. And so if the command center for the entire body works at a higher level, doesn't the rest of the body work at a higher level? If your brain can communicate with every single piece of cell, tissue, and organ in your body, isn't your whole body going to work better? So if there's interference between the brain and the body, the body gets sicker. Look at Christopher Reeves. The guy fell off his horse, he broke his atlas, that top bone in his spine, and, and it pushed his atlas into his spinal cord. He had one centimeter of damage, and, and look what happened to him. Everything shut down. He was literally on machines to live. Don't tell me that interference between the brain and the body doesn't lead to sickness and disease or problems. So instead of a, a centimeter, what if you're walking around with one millimeter, one millimeter of pressure or damage on your spinal cord of the nerves? Isn't that a reasonable Thing to, to think that could be causing interference between the brain and the body and interfering with the body's ability to heal itself. And here's the last and probably most important thing is mindset. I want you to understand that you're supposed to be healthy. Like, like you are not supposed to be walking around sick, suffering, and on medication, and life is not supposed to suck. God made you to be awesome. <laughs> Whether you want to believe that or not, that's what I believe. And so that's the reason why I do this, is because I believe that you're supposed to be happy. You're supposed to be healthy. Your kids are supposed to be happy and healthy and not have to worry about sickness and disease. That's the way it's supposed to be. And so mindset is an understanding that not only can you get better, but you've got to do the right things in order to get better, right? Mindset is understanding that, that more drugs is not making you more healthy, period. And so I saw a video and I'm going to post the link to the video on my website or on my, my page. A researcher from MIT, that's a pretty important place, pretty top-notch school, very, very intelligent lady. A researcher from MIT came out and said that based upon statistics, not her personal belief, not her bias, but it's based upon statistics, statistics, that by the year 2032, by the year 2032, over 50% of children born will be autistic. We are in a crisis, we are in trouble, and there are things coming in regards to healthcare that we do not want to be a part of. And so it's my belief that there's going to be a line. There's going to be a, a very distinct line, and you're going to be on one side or the other. And I'm not picking on you, I'm not trying to scare you, I'm not trying to put, put, put fear into you, I'm just sharing with you my belief of what's coming when it comes to health in this world, not just my country. One side will be people who are super healthy, um, they have control over their life. They have finances. They're not, they're not relying or dependent upon the system. When I say that, that means they, they don't require pharmaceutical drugs and they don't require assistance from the government. On the other side of the line are going to be people who are, are stuck on pharmaceutical drugs. They've lost all their money because they've had to dump it into the healthcare system and they require assistance from the system in some way. There will be a line. My question is, when that time comes, which side of the line are you going to be on? 
Remember, it is your job to be the expert. It's your job to understand health for you and your family. You are the doctor.